Hello and welcome to this mod first look video. Today we're going to be looking at the open garage by Mafokri. And boy is this one a biggie. Let's get into it. So we're looking under sheds and this one, this one's a big one. 306,500 for the purchase. And it has a daily or weekly, whatever cycle you sort of work with. Uh, upkeep of 100 pounds, euros or dollars, whatever you're working in. And this is actually... The perfect size for just sitting on the end of our fallow field at the minute, our ploughed field. So for this, we're just going to drop this down here. This is absolutely huge. So let's get down and have a little look, shall we? And this is a big one. It is 25 metres deep and 50 metres in length, which is absolutely huge. It has the, uh, the large openings on the front to fit any machinery you wish in here. It is an absolute monster it's of the Horman brand so it comes in the green it's got the nice uh, concrete plate cement port cement footings corrugated externals look how big this is it takes it takes a day to walk around it is absolutely huge got the detail in there where the uh, the machines are gone, they flick stones up as they go and they've hit the shed. But that makes a right racket in there. <laughs> That's cool. That's something we want. We want stones flying when we're doing the work. I want to hear them hitting on the sheds. But this is a big one. This is absolutely massive. This is 50 meters. So it would take Usain Bolt about four and a half seconds to run from one end to the other. How quick can I do it? One, two, three, four five six six seconds i'm not as quick as usain bolt what a shocker but anyway inside it does have lights it does have the switches on the side so you can work it there if you want to do a little bit of role play but you can trigger the lights from anywhere within the shed and the shed is absolutely beautiful on the inside love of loving the intricate beam work again look at that that's really nice really nice we've got the uh, the open transparent Plastic, transparent, aluminum, whatever we're calling that at the top there. Letting in some sunlight as well. So during the day, being so big, it would get dark in here. So that allows light in without having to turn your lights on. Lights are for the night. And we do have some uh, decorative fire hydrants as well. Do we call them fire hydrants? They're just, um, yeah, fire extinguishers. But that's cool. They're there. We definitely need them. We're accident prone. But again, the detail is really nice. We've got another button up here if you want to pretend to do it that way. Again, we've got a little bit of blemish and, and dirt and whatnot on the inside of the shed, as well as on the outside. The wood is of a great, great texture. Stone is of nice texture. This is really good. The triple lights. We've got the uh, the metal supports going through as well, because this is a big, heavy, big, heavy shed. And again, what I like in these support beams look at the flare and as it comes down again and we've had some where they flare and get wider going up got one where it flares and goes down the fixtures and fittings as well all there all look really nice going in there on the girder just really like the details love the details of these sheds i must be getting old because i'm getting excited about sheds on a daily basis at the minute but this is absolutely beautiful. It's big. It's expensive. You have to work your butt off to go and buy it. But if you've uh, if you've got enough machinery to fill this shed, you've probably already worked your butt off. But that is that is a good one. And again, that is the uh, the open garage. Let me get this right. By uh, Mafokri. Don't want to get that one wrong at all, do we? <laughs> and that is an absolute beast. That's beautiful. Again, it's twenty five meters by fifty meters. It costs three hundred and six thousand five hundred pounds euros or dollars daily upkeep of 100 thus a beast hopefully you've enjoyed this first look video if you have give it a big fat thumbs up down below if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn the bell notification on find out when new videos are going live as always comments and feedback down there you guys have a wonderful day and hopefully i'll see you again soon Bye bye